Cheers. 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 And thank you, everybody, for joining our Thanksgiving celebration. I'll keep shining my light, shining my light. Life with same. God is so good. And I'm thankful for so come join us on this fun life where we put God in the center of everything. Keep shining my light. Thanksgiving is such a time for reuniting the family and we definitely had a lot of that this year and we have it every year. We're so thankful for our family and all the things that take place with our family around here. The amazing food and the cooking and the baking that goes on here with the kids all partaking in it and having a lot of fun with that. There's the family meals afterwards. We prepare the food and then everybody gets together to celebrate eating the food and that's where a lot of good prayer and thanksgiving comes into play as well. Then after that, the kids have these amazing grounds to go out and play on their swings and bikes and they, they go around and climb in trees and just have an amazing time that all kids should have. We've had amazing dinner parties. We have some incredible friends. We have so many things to be thankful for, so many things to thank God for. Oh, it's beautiful. The cooking is a tradition, the green beans, and I've got a lot of recipes that um, will come out in that cookbook The one green day. beans are like the green beans unbelievable. Are sweet potatoes. I could just fill my plate with green beans and be happy with that. Yeah, They're so good. The um, sweet potato recipe is actually from my mom's, kind of a little concoction of that. And then there's the homemade dressing. The kids love cooking and, and baking with us. And then when we're at the dinner table, uh, there's a lot of laughter. Oh my goodness, we, we just have a good old time. And the kids love serving. And we use paper plates a lot of the year, but it's always beautiful to have that time where things are more formal and honoring God and His bounty that He's given us. Thankfulness has got to be one of God's biggest requests from all of us. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Present your requests to God. So that one's talking about anxiousness. Do not be anxious about anything. And so there's no excuses. We can't sit there and say, ah, but we've got to be anxious about this one. Oh, wait, we're going to be, we're not going to be anxious about anything but this one thing. And so when scriptures are like that, there's there, a fear comes over me to, to really be careful because I feel like God is speaking. He's speaking from the heavens do not be anxious about anything and it ruins everything it ruins everyone around you you can even get the animals upset you know as you're anxious and then the wife gets anxious and the kids get anxious and then the animals get anxious and and obviously god is like distraught from our anxiousness and or he would he wouldn't ask us you know not to be that way so absolutely isn't that beautiful i grew up kind of an anxious person and i thank god for my wife who can help remind me of these scriptures where God actually commands us, don't be anxious. We're supposed to be joyous and be thankful. And I'm thankful yeah, for you. And it works. And it just does. reading the scripture works. And then it, it goes on to flip it and saying, but in everything, everything, not just a few things in your life, but in everything in your life, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, Amen. present your request to God. So it's giving you a place to go with this. You have anxiousness, he's not just saying, hey, forget about it, it's not real. He's asking you to take it to him. So prayer, Amen. petition, and we have to stop and we pray and we say, God, please take this cup from us, take this, take all of this from us, so. Amen, darling. First Thessalonians 5, 18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So, and there's the same kind of thing, right? All circumstances. And so we've got to keep going, golly, we don't have a spot where we can go the other directions. So Colossians 4, 2. Devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. That's the prayer theme again. So they go together. You feel anxious, go to prayer. Anxious, go to prayer. Feel anxious, go to prayer. Hey, that's cool. We can remember that. We can Amen. remember that. Amen. So Hebrews 12, 28. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom, that cannot be shaken. Let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. So that's the coolest part about all of this is that the, the whole end of it all is that we are going to be so excited about heaven 
that we're receiving this kingdom of God here and in heaven that we can truly be thankful. So that's why the table decorations and, and that's why the cooking, you're cooking the bounty of God's food and then we're with all the family members and the grandkids and, and all the children laughing and playing and, and serving. Uh, all, all of that, there's something about watching the children going running and playing. You can hear them through the windows here, you know, laughing and running around outside, enjoying each other. And the adults are inside laughing and enjoying one another. Uh, we're so grateful for our friends. It's not just a few. It's everybody that we know that are in love with God is so welcome into our home. And so uh, we love being with each and every one of those that are in love with God. It's awesome. It's not about food here. What this is about is about it, enjoying each other. So we keep our heads out of the plate and under the conversation. And we don't overeat. We don't go in there and disglorify God by taking this day and making it into a gorge day like a lot of the world does. They take, they call it holidays, we call it holy days. And in a holiday, it's a day that everybody just indulges too much football, too much gaming, too much food, too much, it's about them. But a holy day is when it's about God and uh, therefore uh, a part of His Spirit's gonna be self-control in all things for that day above all days. We are celebrating the Holy Days. Yes. And we are just so thankful to God for each and every day that we have. Join the life with Gwen and Joe type of Thanksgiving. And that is, we're not gonna be anxious about anything. We're not gonna be in any circumstances, but in everything, we're going to uh, turn that over, pray to God and be thankful. We're honored and we're blessed to have you here with us. We love you all. Thank you. Have a good one. Ready? <laughs> hey. Get back. Oh, no. You want to keep holding that? Um, yes. Uh -huh. I need a prop. Props. <laughs> prop. Line. All right. So to end this thankfulness, I'm kind of thankful for him. Shining my light. Every day is the same. Headed straight for the grave, and I'm thankful for living. Thankful for living, thankful for living, yeah. Keep shining my life.